one of the best things that ever happened in wrestling was NWO. And my question is, what's your favourite memory of that time with NWO? It's a hard one. I get asked it often, and I should have a good stock answer, but I just can't. Um, I think that if I had to pick one, it would be when Hulk Hogan turned. Because that was the pivot point. That moment. That moment at Bash of the Beach in 1996 changed the business for it, it, And we didn't know. You know, it, it would be so easy for me to get up here and pretend I knew how it was going to end. Oh, I knew that when Hulk Hogan turned heel, the NWO was going to take off. And there'd still be people wearing NWO merchandise 25 years later. Hey. In England. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> It would be so easy for me to sound like a really smart guy and say that, but we didn't know. We had no idea if it was going to work, if it was not going to work, if it was going to work for a month or two months. And here we are today. There's still there's NWO merchandise in this audience to this day, 20 some odd years later. But it was that moment when Hulk Hogan finally turned, and it was the combination. It wasn't just Hulk Hogan turning. It was the way Scott Hall came in, the way Kevin Nash came. The way we created the mystery, going back to storytelling, which is what Vince Russo doesn't do. <laughs> it, I mean, and I'm not saying I have to be as smart as, but it's the storytelling that I was referring to. Who's the third man? If you guys remember, that was the buildup, the anticipation. I'm a firm believer that when you're telling a great story, you have to have five elements. You have to have a story, which means you have to have structure beginning and the middle of an end. You have to have anticipation. Because each one of us, you know, we're, even though you're over here in the UK and I live in the States, we're all conditioned the same way. You grew up, you look forward to your first day of school, right? You look forward to getting your first bike. You look forward to getting your driver's license. You look forward to going to college. You look forward to your first serious relationship. <laughs> Sorry, moms, getting late. <laughs> you look forward to your first real job. You look forward to your, when, when you're young, you look forward to your birthdays. You look forward to holidays. You look forward to all these things. You're conditioned to, to have anticipation. That's a part of your culture. So any good story has to have a level of anticipation in order for it to connect to the audience. A good story has to have reality. Which all that really means is it has to be believable. We all know that wrestling is what wrestling is. We don't try to pretend that wrestling is a documentary. But the story has to be believable enough that you allow yourself to get sucked into it. Just like when you go to a movie, you know that the movie is just a script. These are just actors. This isn't really happening on the screen. This isn't a documentary but a really good movie because of really good actors, really good writers, really good directors, really good special effects, allows you to forget for an hour and a half or so and get sucked into the drama that you're watching. So you have to have story, you have to have anticipation, you have to have reality. You have to have, in wrestling, you have to have surprise. Because wrestling fans, all of you, like surprises. Oh my God. <laughs> Told you. You like surprises. And inherently, because of the nature of the product, you have to have an action. It's called SARS, story, anticipation, reality, surprise, and action. If you have those five things, that story will resonate for a long time. That's what the NWO had. It had story. Because Scott Hall and Kevin Nash used to work at WCW, and they didn't get the opportunity that they wanted, so they got pissed off and went to the WWF. And they became big stars. And then they came back to WCW to get revenge on the people that didn't give them that opportunity when they deserved it back when they were there previously. So you had story, and because it was true, you had reality. The anticipation, that came with who's the third one. So now we got story, we got anticipation, we got reality. Surprise was Hulk Hogan turning heel, and the action was the action that ensued. That was a story that had all five of those key elements, and that's why you're still